Welcome to the quiet demonstration of GSM and keypad based electrical circuit breaker for safety of electric line mount. In this quiet we are using two PIC microcontrollers. One is for the keypad and another is for the relay controlling and GSM. And also we are connecting the LCD display with the PIC microcontroller. So in this part we are using LCD display, two microcontrollers, keypad and also a G GSM model. So GSM is a global system for mobile and also using a buzzer which is connected to the uh, PIC microcontroller and also using uh, three relays with uh, three bulb holders with three bulbs. So we are providing the power supply to these uh, power cables using this power cable. So it, uh, it, it will take 230 volts of power supply. That 230 volts of power supply will be given parallel to the all compound, uh, all bulbs. So the phase of the each bulb will be connected to the relay. So uh, we are providing the uh, 5 volts uh, 5 volts for this system. So LCD, pic micro, two pic microcontrollers and uh, keep uh, keypad GS, uh, GSM model and uh, buzzer will be works on the 5 volts of power supply only. For the 5 volts of power supply we are using this adapter it takes 230 volts of power supply and it will step down up to 5 volts that step down 5 volts will be given to the PIC microcontroller. So this PIC microcontroller board will uh, 40, uh, 40 pin, pin PIC microcontroller board will uh, give the equal power to the all components like PIC microcontroller, LCD and buzzer GSM model and also give equal power supply from here to relays so it will give a 5 volts of power supply to the all components so here we can see gsm module so we need to insert the sim card like this after the inserting the sim card we need to power on this system using this adapter so here we can see uh, here here we can see if the red light blinks more speed which means it's not connected to the network if the red light blinks less uh, with the delay speed so which means it is connected to the network so it is blinking with the delay which means it is connected to the network after that here we can see c1 for the relay 1 c2 is for the relay 2 c3 is for the relay 3 so c1 c2 c3 is also called as a circuit breakers so now so if i send a message to the this sim number if so in the keypad if we press triple one the relay one uh, relay will be get switched on if we press relay to um, triple four triple one uh, sorry double one double one for the relay one double two double two for the relay 2 and double 3 double 3 is for the relay 4 so first of all we need to send the uh, message to this uh, inserted sim so here we can say I am sending the sms to this uh, number uh, retail number like 111 then I am sending the relay will one will be get switched on so if if we so first of all we need to so here we can see from mobile number so this mobile number will be stored so we need to give the power supply we forget that So first of all we need to uh, give the SMS to the GSM model then it will store that number through that number only uh, bulbs will be controlled. So now I am giving the uh, message to that number uh, sim like 111. We can see our number from here. and you can see authorized so if you want to off this one just press 111 again so 
so it will send a reverse message wait for that one so here we can see cpu1 got switched on so if i press double on double on again again it will be receive the mess uh, message from GS, gsm module it will send a, mes a message to this quick microcontroller so here we can see cb1 get switched off so here we can see cb1 get switched off message in the same way for the uh, relay 2 relay 3 also So here we can see CB2 got switched on and we can see the written message also. So now for the half, press press 222 and send. And reverse message will be come to our phone number. So when we uh, give the first message to the number, that number will be stored in the PIC microcontroller. Now for the relay 3. So we can say relay 3 was switch on for the off for the same number. In this way we will control the bulbs using this number so we can control this bulbs using keypad also so if you want to on the relay number 3 just press 3 3 3 3 and authorize it and bulb will be get switched on for the 2 also same and for the 1 also same so now for the off I want to off the number 2 relay 1 and 3 if I press wrong number it will give a buzzer alert so it will be unauthorized the relay will be not get switched on in that time we need to so here we can see it is showing that wrong password entered axis D9 so the wrong password entered access design message will become first stored number only so that's why we need to if we on the power supply we need to send a message or we need to on a power supply using the first number so here we can see the uh, keypad is interfaced with the b0 to b7 pins and uh, also the pic microcontroller is uh, interfacing with the uh, 40, 40 pin pic microcontroller with the uart communication so uart is nothing but universal asynchronous uh, receiver and transmitter it will be uh, connected using that protocol and the power supply is utilized by the pic microcontroller 40 pin and uh, this display is connected to the pic microcontroller and the G gsm also connected to the pic, uh, pic microcontroller 40 pin board in this way this part will be works thanks for the watching